All right, welcome back everybody. You know, from time to time, you'll get an alert on your phone for like an amber alert or tornado warning or even a flood warning. And these are alerts reserved for what are considered life threatening alerts. Well, starting today, there's a new alert coming to your phone and it looks like this behind me. It's called the destructive severe thunderstorm warning. Now remember, the National Weather Service issues the warnings and rely on people like me and the Pinpoint Weather Team to spread that word. So they're starting this new classification because not all severe storms are the same. From now on, when the National Weather Service issues a severe thunderstorm warning, there's going to be three categories to help better explain exactly the possible hazards that go along with it. The first is going to be the baseline for when a severe thunderstorm warning is issued. That's when you got basically some smaller hail or wind gusts in excess of 58 miles per hour. This type of warning is not going to get sent to your phone. The next alert is called a considerable thunderstorm warning. It's for golf ball sized hail or wind gusts up to and above 70 miles per hour. This one also will not get sent to your phone and this is probably the most common one when we have our severe thunderstorm warnings around here most of the time. But there's going to be this final type of warning called the destructive severe thunderstorm warning. Now this is the one that's going to get sent out to all wireless devices within the warning area. The criteria here, baseball sized hail or wind gusts up over 80 miles per hour. Now we very, very rarely ever see this kind of weather around here. As a matter of fact, only about 10% of all severe thunderstorms in the entire country reach this category. But nice to know that if we do get one, they're going to send that immediately to all wireless devices. Now, according to the National Weather Service, 13 of the 22 costliest weather disasters last year, severe thunderstorms. Yeah, more than half. It's just another way to help get the word out faster and to more people when the weather gets dangerous. And that's always a good thing. Now, we'll still be here to show you what's going on and where and to break down the real threats that you can count on. And don't forget, you can always download the free Pinpoint Weather app in your mobile devices app store. You can do it right now. If there's severe weather, the app will alert you based on your location. Plus, you get all of our local forecasts coming from real human beings, which is always a benefit. Okay, thanks for checking this out. We'll be right back.